Hello everyone! Today we will start reading Day of Tears, a novel and dialogue by Julius Lester. The story is of the Great Slave Auction, also known as the Weeping Time, and its aftermath. The story follows the perspectives of many people involved in the event, including slaves from the Butler Plantation who were sold, the Butler family themselves, and many buyers at the auction. While the events are dramatized, through their words and thoughts we get an inside look at the horrific institution of slavery and the changing views of it in the lead up to the Civil War. Imagine you are enslaved on the Butler Plantation on Butler Island, a little ways south of Savannah, Georgia. You've come home from working the fields for literally nothing except a bit of food and the threadbare clothing you have on your back. Your life is hard and miserable, but it could still be worse. You have enough to survive, even if just barely, and at least you have your family. You open the door to your quarters to find your family sobbing. What has happened? Or what will? For two days in March of 1859, the largest slave auction in U.S. history took place in Savannah, Georgia. For two days, men, women, and children were brought to the auction block to be sold to the highest bidder. For two days, it rained like it never has before. Mr. Pierce Butler was the owner of the plantation. Of course, Mr. Butler had his demons, particularly when cards were involved, but he was still regarded as a good man. For those responsible for the selling and buying, what punishment could possibly be enough for such a heinous act as splitting up families? The burning hatred in the eyes of your children, or the utter destruction of all? How far would you be willing to go for freedom, to face an unthinkable fear and run? Across states? Countries? What could be so sad as to make God himself shed tears? Grab your copy of Day of Tears by Julius Lester to find out.